Pitbull vs. Wolf Could a powerful dog beat its wild cousin, the wolf? Before starting, as you well know, this fight is purely informative to find out which animal is stronger. I do not support the organized fights with animals in any way. Have you ever wondered what would happen if two of the most iconic animals on the planet got into a fight? While both wolves and pit bulls are powerful animals, one will undoubtedly win any hypothetical encounter between them. But let's find out together who would win. The term pit bull is commonly used to refer to a group of dog breeds that share similar physical characteristics, including the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The name pit bull is derived from their historical association with bull baiting and later dog fighting. Grey Wolf, largest wild member of the dog family, Canadai. It inhabits vast areas of the northern hemisphere. Between 5 and 24 subspecies of grey wolves are recognized in North America and 7 to 12 are recognized in Eurasia, with one in Africa. Wolves were domesticated several thousand years ago and selective breeding produced dogs. What do they look like? Pit bulls are known for their muscular and athletic bodies. They have a well-developed chest, broad shoulders, and a strong, stocky build. Their bodies are designed for strength and agility. Pit bulls typically have a broad and square-shaped head. The muzzle is often short and squared, with a powerful jaw. Some owners opt to crop the ears for aesthetic reasons, although ear cropping is a controversial practice and is banned or restricted in many countries. Pit bulls have a short and smooth coat that lies close to their body. Coat colors can vary widely and include combinations of brindle, fawn, black, blue, red, and more. Pit bulls are medium-sized dogs with males typically ranging from 18 to 21 inches, 45 to 53 centimeters in height at the shoulder. Weight can vary, but often falls between 30 to 60 pounds, 13 to 27 kilograms. Male wolves are the largest members of the canine family, weighing between 65 and 175 pounds, 30 to 80 kilograms. They range in length from 4 feet 3 inches to 6 feet 9 inches, 130 to 205 centimeters. It also differs from other Canis species by having less pointed ears and muzzles, a shorter torso, and a longer tail. Male wolves have narrow chests and straight tails. The grey wolf's fur is normally grey, with black markings and lighter underparts. However, wolves can also be black, brown, red, or even pure white. Grey wolves have thick hair with a harsh outer coat that hides a soft undercoat. Their lengthy legs allow them to take long steps, which promotes fast speed during the chase. Where do they live? The current American pit bull terrier has its origins in England in the early 19th century. Bulldogs and terriers were crossed to produce dedicated, courageous, and athletic dogs that were kind with their families. They became multi-purpose working dogs, driving livestock, going on hunts, protecting property, and engaging in other duties. Plus, they were family companions. They also sadly were used for inhumane blood sports such as bull baiting and dog fighting, which is why they are still unfairly stereotyped as aggressive and even banned in some areas. The breed arrived in the United States in the mid-1800s, where it was further refined, and in 1898, the United Kennel Club formed with the American Pit Bull Terrier as the first breed on its registry, its founder's own dog. The Grey Wolf is a highly adaptable and widely distributed species that inhabits diverse ecosystems across the Northern Hemisphere. 
In North America, gray wolves historically occupied a vast range that extended from the Arctic tundra to the southern reaches of Mexico. They are also found in parts of Europe, Asia, and even northern Africa. The adaptability of grey wolves is evident in their ability to thrive in a diverse array of environments, ranging from the deserts of Arabia to the dense forests of Siberia. Forests, both temperate and boreal, are common habitats for grey wolves. In more open landscapes like the Arctic tundra or grasslands, grey wolves are known to roam great distances in search of prey. Human activities and habitat encroachment have, unfortunately, led to the contraction of the grey wolf's range in some regions. How do they behave? Central to Pitbull's character is a deep-seated loyalty and affection toward their human family members. These dogs are often regarded as highly affectionate, forming strong bonds and seeking constant interaction with those they consider part of their pack. Intelligence is a defining trait of pit bulls. Their keen minds make them quick learners, responding well to consistent and positive training methods. Early training and socialization are crucial for channeling their intelligence positively, as it helps in preventing behavioral issues and fostering good manners. Despite their often intimidating appearance, pit bulls are known to be excellent problem solvers, making them versatile companions for various activities, including agility training and interactive games. Contrary to popular misconceptions, properly raised pit bulls are not inherently aggressive. Their temperament is significantly influenced by factors such as genetics, upbringing and environment. When raised in a loving and nurturing home with consistent training and socialization, pit bulls can be gentle, loving, and reliable family members. Grey wolves are social animals living, hunting, and traveling in packs. An average wolf pack consists of seven to eight individuals, including the alpha male and female with their young, as well as older offspring. The alphas are the pack's leaders, defining the group's territory, choosing den locations, tracking and hunting prey. They live in close quarters with the other members of their pack, communicating by a range of calls like as barks, whines, howls and growls. Grey wolves do not howl at the moon, rather they howl when the night is lighter, which is normally during the full moon. These are predators that hunt at night. When hunting, they travel about their domain, following the same paths for extended periods of time. These follow riverbanks, lake shores and ravines, overrun with bushes, plantations, highways and human routes. Grey wolves prefer moving at night, being able to travel up to 200 kilometers, 124 miles per day. They go through stationary and nomadic periods throughout the year. The stationary phase occurs in the spring and summer months when they are young, and the nomadic phase occurs from fall to winter. Now let's find out who would win between a pit bull and a wolf. Pit bulls are regarded for being some of the most powerful and aggressive dogs on the market. The wolf would most certainly defeat the pit bull in a fight, but the pit bull would not go down easily. While pit bulls can be unpredictable and aggressive toward humans and other animals, they are no match for their wild counterparts, the wolves. Wolves can exert 400 psi, according to the International Wolf Center. In other words, enough to reach the marrow of a moose's femur. The bite force of a pit bull is between 240 and 330 psi. The real damage-causing factor is the fact that pit bulls have what is known as lockjaw. This is when their jaws latch onto their prey and they don't, won't, and often can't release their grip. Wolves can also outrun pit bulls. A wolf's thin athletic shape allows it to run extremely fast, up to 40 miles per hour at times, 64 kilometers per hour. 
A pit bull can run at speeds ranging from 25 to 30 miles per hour, 40 to 48 kilometers per hour. Larger muscles in the head and jaws, a far stronger bite force, and a brain that is 33% larger than that of domestic dogs. These are all important aspects. Wolves are naturally cautious when it comes to picking conflicts, but a healthy wolf engaged in a serious fight would be lethal to any other canine breed. Wolves are professional killers. A domestic dog, no matter how vicious, is further removed from its natural genetic predisposition by virtue of domestication. The wolf has a significant size advantage over the pit bull. Even if you took away all of the wolf's other advantages, far stronger jaws and larger teeth, faster reflexes, wild animal that kills to survive, etc., the pit would still have a difficult time just because of the size variations. In conclusion, when comparing a wolf versus a pit bull, the wolf is likely to win due to its size advantage as well as its natural hunting instincts, which give it an advantage when facing up against solitary opponents such as pit bulls. That is why, regardless of the matchup, we must remember that these beautiful creatures must always be respected.